The Rafa border crossing is currently providing the only glimmer of hope for hundreds of thousands of Palestinians. The Egyptian crossing is the sole route for aid to reach Gaza, Israel having sealed its border with the Palestinian territory. Under a 2007 agreement with Israel, Egypt controls the crossing, with Israel approving supplies coming in, but currently, the Rafa border is closed. We're at the border, I've been coming almost every day on the hopes that it's going to open, but unfortunately every day there's no news. We don't know whether we can leave or stay, or at least where it is safe to stay in Gaza, where there's no airstrikes, there's no bombings. The living conditions for people in Gaza are worsening, with food, water and medicine supplies dwindling. The pressure on Egypt to open the border has also increased, as Israel prepares for a possible ground invasion of Gaza. Hamas health officials have said more than 3,700 Palestinians have been killed since October 7th, when the Islamist militants launched a devastating attack on Israel. Meanwhile, the official number of those killed in Israel has passed 1,400. US President Joe Biden, who received a warm welcome in Tel Aviv from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, said he will continue to have Israel's back. On his return to the US, he said Egypt's president has agreed to open the Rafa border crossing to allow 20 trucks filled with aid supplies to cross. This has been a very uh, blunt negotiation I've had. And uh, so we want to get as many of the trucks out as possible. There's, I guess, 150 or something there. Not all of them will go. The first tranche, if there's a second tranche, see how it goes. Food, water and medicines will now be allowed into Gaza by Israel, but fuel, desperately needed to fill the generators used to power hospitals, won't. And the supplies that Israel has allowed in are subject to a condition. If any life-saving aid intended for the civilians of Gaza should end up in the hands of Hamas, deliveries will stop.